Meow meow everyone, it's Shadow Cat here. Yay! We're doing another uh trick and treat visual novel game. Back to playing this. So uh yep. Uh I got potions here with me. Potion. Yay. Meow 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 meow. <laughs> Alright. So I'm trying to go as as quick and long as possible with this game because this game is very long and a lot of reading, mostly. It's a visual novel, so of course there's a lot of reading in it. So it's like, here we go. I wait completely confused, not knowing how much time has passed. My head hurts like hell, but I can't blame it. Fortunately, the pain goes away quickly. Just as my confusion. Soon I come back to my senses. My flashlight is lying on the ground, shining towards the empty air. I immediately pick it up. It was my only protection against the darkness that surrounded me. Then I remembered that Stephen and Alfred were with me. Stephen? Alfred? Can you hear me? Without thinking, I scream their names in the dark while trying to find them with my flashlight, but there was no trace of them. They are gone. Where the hell are they? And what the heck just happened? I really don't understand anything. Shit. We should have stayed at home. This is not a proof of courage. We could be in danger. I had to find them. 2.19 a.m. Okay. Little time has passed since I started to look for my friends, and I already can't stand this place. I'm going crazy in this forest. The darkness that covers it is unnatural. It is a it is a darkness that seals your own sanity, replacing it with anxiety. To make it worse, the air damp and cold as in winter as in winter, carrying a strong rot smell, as if there were corpses of animals hidden throughout the forest. The atmosphere in this place is oppressing, oppressive, with every step you take it makes you more uncomfortable. God, I'm sorry. The, the music is distracting me. It's so loud. Since I started to look for my friends, I felt that something is watching me. But there is nothing. I sigh with my voice full of frustration. I just want to get out of here. I continue walking devoted of any hope. No matter where I look or how much I walk, I find nothing. I cannot even hear the sound of animals. Rather, it seems they are already dead and rotting. No, I have to stay calm myself. I said to myself, I stop for a moment without for a moment to rest. I breathe deeply, but the rotten air of this place does me no good. Immediately I start to cough as I as if I had something stuck in my throat. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I going to do? This cursed forest seems endless. And even by and even if by miracle I could escape, I cannot 
abandoned Stephen and Alfred. I'm really screwed up. Again, I sigh, feeling on the verge of tears. My frustration is building up, but I have to do my best to keep calm. If I fall into despair, then there is no doubt I will be joining the list of missing persons. In the end, I decided to keep walking. Step by step, I should get somewhere. At least I was convinced that staying in the same place would not do me any good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm just mostly reading. I don't know why I have a cam on, but it is what it is. Uh, even if it was only to deceive myself, feeling that I am doing something, I want to continue walking. Time passes without any chances, any changes. Only the sound of my footstop can be heard, knowing that as soon as you stop, you will be surrounded by the, by a dead silence. Surrounded by a dead silence is a good incentive to keep walking. But my legs were already hurting. Suddenly I hear a crack my, at my feet. Instantly, I take a step back and look below to see what made that sound. What is it? I whispered to myself, surprised, discovering that I had s stepped on an animal bone. I believe that it's from an animal, although I do not rule out the possibility that it belongs to a person. But for my own good, I prefer not to think about that. An expression of anguish is drawn on my face. It is best to ignore it. I have to keep walking. Suddenly, my flashlight reveals something. Without hesitation, I point towards there again. Oh, it's the cat. It's the white cat. Only to realize with the surprise that is the white cat. The one from before, which made that awful meow, but this time I find it lying on the ground. It appears to be fainted and is wounded. Then what should I do? There's multiple ways to take care of this, but I don't care. It is best to continue without waking her. The cat is dangerous. It's her fault that I ended up in this place and my friends are missing. But even knowing that, for some strange reason, I can't help but feel sorry for her. Even if it is unnatural, it is still an animal. And then bend down. I then bend down to see her closer. She is unconscious and there is a thin line of blood coming from her mouth. I'm a real idiot. I said to myself at the same time, I clean the blood from her mouth with a handkerchief that I had with me. Fortunately, she doesn't wake up. I then close her mouth, making her appearance a little better. Now she seemed to be peaceful sleeping, peacefully sleeping.
After a long sigh, I decided to pick her up carefully. I don't know what the powers of this cat are, but if she brought me here, maybe she can return me to my world. With her in my arms, I decided that the best thing I can do is to continue walking. 2.31 a.m. <laughs> Only a minute, wow. Well, or a few minutes, I don't know. Again, I find myself in the dark forest, walking aimlessly, only moving forward, but I didn't seem, but it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. In my arms, I carry the cat, which, which sleeps soundly. Come here, here you'll be safe. I suddenly stop. It was probably easy to see the disbelief in my face at that moment. I wish I could see it. It's that voice again. I whispered to myself with no one to listen to me. Shortly after I find the cat, I found the cat. A mysterious voice appears appeared in my head, mind. Jesus, this music is very distracting. It's so loud. Uh, it is a... A mind voice. Feminine voice. Soft and gentle. As if it belongs to a princess from the fairy tale. But I can't trust it. Am I really going crazy? Or is this forest that... Or is it this forest that doesn't make any sense. I don't know, but I don't like any of, any of the two options. I then feel the cat move in my arms. I look down at her confused just to see her just to see how she opens her red red eye suddenly. I become quiet at that instant. For a moment, the two stayed motionless, stirring into the eyes of the other. The red eyes of the cat are disturbing to me, but I also, but also, there is something fascinating about them, something that attracts me. I leave myself in her eyes as if hypnotized until suddenly she jumps with the intention of scratching my face. Oh. My reflex is pushing her at the same time. I jump back. Turning my head to dodge her claws, I managed to dodge her attack, but in the process I dropped the fla my flashlight. I picked, I panicked and acted clumsily. The flashlight falls near me, lighting up a tree in the vicinity. As soon as it left my hands, I remember how dense the abnormal di darkness is. Quickly, I quickly pick up, I quickly pick it up, not even thinking before taking action. I then light the place where the cat was, only to discover sh she had arched her body angrily as if she feared an attack from me. Those red eyes stare at me, shining with the light of the flashlight as if they were jewels reflecting a fearsome hatred and rejection towards me. My, betty, my body freezes after seeing them. I can't even think. 
The cat then lets out a thunderous meow, similar to the one before, but weaker. Although not any less frightening, there is no doubt there is something wrong with that animal. It must be cursed. Everything is her fault. She must be some kind of evil spirit, a pet of the witches. I feel how panic. I feel how panic sees me. My heart beats quickly, begging me to do something. My mouth is dry and my forehead covered with cold sweat. Oh, Jesus. What should I do? Ah, uh, this is another one. I have to save this one at least. I should have saved the other one, but it's okay. What should I do? For now, I'm going to comfort it. No, I should not dis... No, I should not despair. I have to calm down and think carefully about what I should do. With that in mind, I take a breath. Deep, deep in, look again at her. Excuse me, Jesus. I soon, oh, soon the expression in my eyes changes from fear to courage. I realize it is only a cat, without a doubt, a strange one, but my life is not actually in danger. That isn't a tiger staring at me, but a simple cat. Apparently her only power are those weird mouths. If she could kill me she would have she would have already done it. So I rule out that possibility. Her work must be transporting the next victim to this area of the forest so unnatural and shady. After f filling my lungs with air, I slowly walk towards the cat. Her meows get louder with every step, but I don't let them scare me. Seeing that I do not turn back, she shyly takes a step back. In my mind, I smiled at that image, but prey is... The prey is... Now the hunter. I look at her directly while advancing. Little by little, her meows become weaker, as if she was losing strength. Then I suddenly jump and take her in my hands. She hardly resists at all. Not so tough now, right? You look better this like this. She is trembling in her hands, in my hands. She looks so helpless that I almost feel like a villain, but I must not forget all that she has done so far. It's her fault that I am in this place. She brought me here. Then if I kill her, then if I kill her, would it be possible to go back? For a moment, that grim idea crossed my mind. I had never killed an animal. Truth, it, animal. Truth is that I can't be proud of myself in doing such such a thing. But if I do, maybe this legend could end here and now. Then, what should I do? Oh my god, okay. Oh, 
Let's keep her capture. I just want to like do like a good route for the time being. And if I have any time at all in any of the days I have, including today, I'll do a different route. But for now, uh, let's just keep going a good route, not doing too much damage. Uh, it is only logical. The magic should die along with the cat. That should be my ticket back. If I kill her, everything would be over tonight and the legend would come to an end. Confident that it was for the best, I try to view it in my mind. But I no longer... But no matter how hard I force myself to see it, in the end, I am unable to take the life of another living being. Even if it is a cursed cat serving a witch, I don't feel good killing her. I think I'm, I think I'm too nice for my own good. So the only thing that remains is that is to keep her with me, hoping that sooner or later she allows me to escape. With nothing more to think about, I decide, to decide the best thing to do is to continue my path. Yeah, that's a lot of time that passed. All right. It's been a few minutes since I captured the cat. Again, I find myself walking with her in my arms, led by the strange voice. How long have I been walking in the forest? Apparently not enough to make me go mad, but it should be close. Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will help you. The voice sounds closer this time. It seems that I am going in the right direction. I don't fully trust in it, but it's the best I have. At least at first glance, it seems a friendly voice. Am I completely focused on my way when I suddenly feel something bite me? What the heck? I shout in pain, realizing that the cat bit my arm. Fortunately, it was, wasn't a dangerous bite, but it sure was painful, yeah. With my direction, she takes the chance to jump from my arms, falling, falling a few steps away from me. Quickly, I set my gaze upon her focus. But soon, something happens that makes me forget about my anger. Suddenly, the cat is covered with a bright light. So much that it repels the unnatural darkness surrounding the forest, s stealing my breath. Under the light, wow, it's so bright. I am, wow. God, it's so bright. God, imagine if it was dark in here? That would be even worse and awful. <laughs> Thank God it's light in here. Bright in here. Under the light, its figure gradually changes until it ceases to be a cat and become a human figure. God, yeah, really, I mean, that would that would suck <laughs> if, if everything in here was like kind of like, well not pitch black, but had some light in it, but still it's like, you can feel that ray is just right in your face, it's not cool at all. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, she's evolving! <laughs> I'm no longer in the cat. No longer is there a cat in front of me, but a girl with incredible beauty. <laughs> incredible beauty. Yeah. Sure. I must really be going crazy. She has white hair and red eyes. Okay. 
she seems about my age. In other circumstances, I would have asked her out without hesitation. Just thinking about it makes me laugh to myself in my mind. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> wow. That was unexpected, I'm sorry. Uh, even at the edge of madness, it seems some things about me will never change. <laughs> she approaches slowly towards me, one step at a time, with no fear. The girl then stares into my eyes with a slightly irritated face. Her lips are moving. She seems to be saying something, but I am unable to hear this hear a sound. Are you trying to tell me something? I babbled, still confused, with a face of disbelief, disbelief, which surely made me look stupid. Said the girl with a very low voice. I do not understand what she is saying. But I can't hear you well. I act still confused. So when the girl pouts in a bad mood. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you deaf? When I can hear her clearly. And just in time because it seems her patience was about to end. Okay, okay, now I heard you. I said annoyed. <laughs> All of my All of my astonishment from just a few seconds ago disappear when I see the arrogant attitude of the girl. At least now I don't think she will bite me, I hope. The girl then snorts with irritation. Annoying guy I had to find. She said at the at the time she places a hand on her hips, making a pensive face. Wait, are, wait. You shouldn't speak ill of someone you have right before you. I. I was quickly to respond. For a moment I feel annoyed at the thought uh, that I have to teach manners to this spirit, or whatever she is. A pity so much beauty wasted on someone so arrogant. The girl let out a snort of annoyance after hearing me. I am sorry. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit that I can't quit. She answered without sounding very repentant. Clearly a <clears throat> false apology. After talking, she diverts her gaze towards the surroundings as if she was bored. I see. I replied and I replied annoyed. I just met her and I already feel like I don't like her. <laughs> but anyway, that doesn't matter. I must not forget who this girl is. She was the cat I that started it all. Anyway, anyway, at least I, at least, could you tell me why you attacked me and my friends? I asked shortly after 
acting more serious. The greetings were over. It's time to get to the important stuff. And why did he bite me if I wasn't doing anything? Before I knew it, my lips move, acting another quest, asking another question. I cannot lie. I was angry. The girl then stares at my face. She blinks with curiosity before speaking. Does it hurt? The wound? She gasps innocently. Yes? I was quick to respond with annoyance. I didn't need to say more. Of course it hurts me, silly cat. She looks at me in silence for a few seconds until suddenly she approaches me with, without any shyness or fear. On second thought, how could a simple human such as me stare at a cat that can turn into a person? Scare, sorry. Show me your wound, said the girl once she stood right next to me. Her presence makes me nervous. The girl seemed to not know what personal space is. As embarrassing as it sounds, I had never had a girl this close if only it was, wasn't in the forest. I don't know why I shouldn't trust her, but strangely, something tells me that she has no bad intentions. The girl is surrounded by a, a calm aurora. Something pure, unlike anything else in the forest. In the end, I'm resigning myself with a sigh, I show her my arm with the with the bite. Amelia, the girl, sits sets her sights on my wound. It will it will only take a moment. She said, complete confidence. Then she looks up into my she then looks up into my eyes up could you close your eyes she asked as she blushes slightly I am surprised to see that embarrassed face she has even if she even if just a little I then I sigh feeling something wasn't right but this is nothing else I can do okay I said doing as she asked I didn't know what to expect for a moment I thought she would get naked or something like that <laughs> wow okay jeez <laughs> but what kind of magic can work all, only when you have no clothes? <laughs> I don't know, but my mind sure wanted to imagine that. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. Come on, Axel, keep your composure. Suddenly I feel something warm and wet touch my wound. Immediately I shudder. Wait, what are you doing? It's a stupid question because I knew well what she was doing. She was licking my wound. You idiot. Who said you could watch? You, you idiot. Who said you could watch?
was quick to respond, the cat, which her cheeks red in embarrassment and her lips still close to my wound. She looked abruptly troubled. Don't you see that I'm just trying to heal you? She then added in a bad mood. Sorry. I said blushing. I thought you would do something more extraordinary. <laughs> now I'm not sure. Is she a girl who can transform into a cat? Or is or a cat that can become a girl? It could go either way, really, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, not being extraordinary enough. Murmured the girl at the same time she gives in me an annoying, annoyed look, red eyes shining with disgust. It is then I realize that the pain has disappeared. With care. Curiosity, I look where the wound was only to discover that now there is no trace of it. For a couple of seconds, I stay silent. Cardius. seems that your treatment worked. I finally said, grateful, still looking at the spot. But of course, I have experience healing myself. Answered the girl, closing her eyes and inflaming her chest to show her pride. I actually appreciate what she did, but still, but I still wonder if she really had to lick it to cure me. I wonder, I understand, oh, I understand, but who are you? The girl makes a small snort with curiosity after hearing my question. Then she tilts her head and closes her eyes, making a thoughtful face. It seems I have not presented myself. She opens her eyes and gazes into mine. My name is Ashley. So that's her name. I expected something more extravagant. My name is... Axel. By the way, have you ever been accused of witchcraft? Before I knew it, I asked that question. I guess it was rather rude of me, completely lacking in manners, but I must not forget for even a second that I am in this cursed forest. Ashley suddenly becomes silent. At plain sight, it was obvious she didn't take it well. She takes her time before responding. Yes, but that was a long time ago. Then she closes her eyes and ex exhales, emptying her lungs. She seemed to be recalling something painful. Just seeing her made me feel guilty. I'm sorry. It, it was not my intention to make you remember it. I said slightly 
remorseful. No doubt to be accused of witchcraft must be must have been a horrible experience. Ashley closes her eyes and nodded a couple of times. It's okay. It's not like I can blame your curiosity seeing where we are. Seeing where we are. Then she looks at me closely with curious eyes. By the way, how do you know about me? Perhaps you are a sorcerer who has lived during these past centuries? She acts narrowing her eyes as if she was trying to see the inside of my mind. What kind of question is that? No, nothing like that. I answered for a moment at the moment. I'm just an ordinary person. I omitted boring. But she didn't need to know that. It's just that there are stories about witches in this forest. But as you can see, the stories are not very convincing. Or else I wouldn't be here. I explained trying to remove any doubt that Ashley may have. Again, she closes her eyes and nods. I understand. She pauses and looks at me in, in the eyes. It's because of these stupid myths that stupid humans come to this forest just like me. She then looked she then said, looking at me with rejection. Wait, what are you trying to say? We are to blame? I replied, feeling offended. Ashley suddenly looks at me, disgusted. Are you an idiot? Yes, if you hadn't come, my existence would be nice and peaceful. Instead of this chaos that it is very that it that it is every year, she said, ending with a sigh of frustration. But you're the one who causes all of this. I was quick to respond. I don't even bother to hide my anger. <laughs> Sorry. I can't believe what it, she says. How arrogant can she be? Ashley opens her eyes wide, surprised. Then she looks at me with annoyance in her in her red eyes. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sorry about that. Do you not understand, stupid human? Definitely, I don't like this girl. I'm only trying to protect you. Her words make me take me by surprise. Huh? I exclaimed un considerably seriously. You attacked me and attacked my friends only to protect us? Only to protect us? Yes. She simply replied at the same time she nods filled with pride and confidence okay that's okay that's it i'm getting out of here okay that's it i'm getting out of here i cannot believe how arrogant and self-centered this girl is after everything she did to me and my friends i can't stand her any longer wait Okay. 
I had only taken a few steps when I heard her calling me. She sounded really worried. You don't understand the real danger you're in here. I stop at my tracks as soon as I hear her. Real danger? I whispered, feeling some doubts. Suddenly I shiver. It doesn't look like she's lying. Yes. Yes. I try to chase them away using illusions. Other times I hit them with my powers. And as a last resort, I scare them directly. As it was in as it was in your case. Ashley confessed, blushing a little as if she felt embarrassed of remembering. And why do you do that? I ask of you, something isn't right here. Ashley stares at me with her red eyes. If they continue with their curiosity, they won't meet an evil entity that will take their lives. you say doesn't sound very convincing. I didn't mean to interrupt. The only evil entity here is you. Ashley shakes her head in denial. You are wrong. I am the good one. Then she said, looking into my eyes with a pure innocence in her eyes. <laughs> I can I can only laugh at the that comment. It had to be a joke. After doing all that you say you're good? Don't laugh. I'm only trying to protect you. Replied Ashley Furious while waving her arms. She then crosses her arms and gives me an unpleased look. Do you expect me to believe that? I replied sarcastically. What she said made no sense, but somehow she seemed oddly convinced it was the truth. She was surely she was surely a bit wrong in her head. But it's true. You have to believe me. This time she sounded really worried about me. I act actively feel a little sorry for her. Ashley then stays silent looking at me with puppy eyes. However, she soon recovers her pride, proud attitude. If you want, hold my hand. I won't harm you. She suddenly says. I look carefully at her. She has a very arrogant face as if she as if it was great honor to be able to touch her. You won't do anything strange. I ask this trustful but after seeing her again I do not think she was lying Ashley nodded full of confidence I promise you I stared at her for a few seconds making sure there isn't a trap okay but why do you want me to hold your hand I ask the same time I extend my hand Ashley opens her eyes, surprised after hearing my question. Then she stares at me with my, with annoyance. Are you stupid? Obviously to guide you out of the forest. She said just as she takes my hand 
in one quick move. I then find myself being dragged by this strange girl. But this is the opposite. But this is the opposite way from where the melodious voice comes. I said, looking back for a second, I felt really cautious about who she was. You ignore that voice. It charms men to make them her victims. Think of it as a siren. Ashley explained in a bad mood, with her eyes always looking to the front. She seemed... She seemed... It seemed she didn't get along well with whoever that person or entity was. Wouldn't you be the one who collects souls for fools? I asked without thinking. I sh seriously need more experience when dealing with a girl. If only I were more popular. Ashley stops suddenly and then turns at, turns at me, showing me a furious face. You idiot. I already said I'm, I'm the good one. For a moment I thought she was going to hit me on the fa in the head. But fortunately she stopped before doing so. Or biting me again. Okay, okay. I meekly responded as if I were a secluded child. But if you eat me, I will make sure to give you the worst indigestion in your life. You idiot, I don't eat humans, replied Ashley eating, ending with an arrogant snort. 311. Several minutes have passed since I started to walk hand in hand with Ashley. At the beginning, I did not trust her at all, but the more time passed, the easier it was to believe her. I, had, I hadn't noticed before how comfortable her hands is, soft and pleasant to the touch. I blush just thinking about it. Even if she is a witch, she's a girl too, right? Uh, somewhat. Then I sigh. Come on, Axel. Composure. Composure. With every step, the... With every step, the curse of the forest seemed to weaken. The atmosphere was less oppressive every minute until finally I was able to forget about that unpleasant feeling. Before I noticed that darkness had returned to normal, feeling only empty. The rotten smell also had disappeared without a trace. Now I could really say it was in a common and ordinary forest, even boring, but I could not be more grateful for that. Just a little more to get out, so let's keep moving. Then I set my sights, then I set my sight on the, on the back of Ashley, watching her walk in silence. She was completely focused on that simple thing. If you're the witch from legend, why are you helping me? I suddenly asked, not thinking twice before it. I was really intrigued by that. Ashley stops and turns, looking at me with an angry face. Idiot. Do you really think 
that all witches are evil. She was right. The general image of witches is not good, but it's not as if stereotypes were truthful. Then she closes her eyes, making an annoying face. It's, it's true I had supernatural powers, but I never used them to do harm. Ashley lowered her sight and pauses. Suddenly, she looks sad. My only sin was to be born in this time of the witch hunts. That's why I was cons condemned. That explains it well. I feel that I can trust she is good. But there is still one more question. And, and uh, how did you end up becoming a cat? Ashley immediately blushes. She was embarrassed that it was almost adorable. Almost. Well, before my ex execution, there was a cat watching in the distance, so I decided to transfer my soul to it. She exclaimed, avoiding looking into my eyes. Of course, we now share the body. We have, like, a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it has something to eat and a place to sleep. I tried to provide her with all the all those needs. And in return, she lets me stay in her body. As she talks, she is blushing shyly. I see. I think it's a fair deal. I replied with a sincere smile. The truth is that I find it a little funny. It turns out that she is both a girl and a cat. That answers some questions. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple times. When she wants to, wants to, she can be very cute, but bad that happens so rarely. Not saying more, Ashley continues walking to the exit. This time I stay silent. All that remains for me is to escape from this place. 315. Well, here we are. Ashley said just a few minutes after we talked. She isn't lying. I can't see the end. I can see the end of the forest in the distance. I had to contain my desire to scream with joy at that moment. There must be two other humans close here. Your friends go with them and return home. I hope that nobody else comes tonight. Ashley said giving me a suitable farewell, but strangely she does not let go of my hand. She looks deep in my eyes, amazed and amazed. I notice the gentleness that reflects on them. Can you can you make me a promise? She suddenly said with an, with an honest voice. Ooh, I'm almost out of time. It was a joke. It was not a joke. What is it? I asked full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a witch, but after helping me to escape, I think she deserves me to do her deserves me to hear her out, hear her request. Jesus Christ. 
end, end this legend. She then murdered, mummered with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she asked for something like this. I want you to help me to keep people away. The legend only attracts more people. In, as in your case, I need to kill it, replacing the supernatural danger with a human danger. A human danger. So, so you want to scare them with ordinary dangers as thieves or furious animals, ferocious animals? On second thought, uh, there is logic in what you asked. If you remove the element of magic and only leave the danger, then exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nod and then looks into my eyes, blushing. Yes, exactly. She said, pleased. Okay, I'll do it. You can rely on me. I responded with determination. I wanted to hear. I wanted her to know how serious I was. That was that. That it was not a promise. I would forget as soon as I got out of the forest. Thank you. Then she closes her eyes momentarily and inflates her chest with pride. You weren't as stupid as I thought. I should have expected something like that. Hey, uh, I told you not to talk ill of someone when you're in front of you. I complained arguably. This cat, I mean this girl, simply will never change. After seeing my reaction, Ashley cannot help but laugh. I'm, I'm sorry. It's the first time I've ever... It's the first time I've seen her so happy. That made me blush. Ashley looked unexpectedly adorable at that moment. My heart was nervously beating as if I was with a normal girl. Suddenly she stares at me and go gets so close her face is less than an inch away from mine. Again, she demonstrates not knowing the personal space, what personal space is. But this time, I don't know whether to be angry or thankful. Having her so close, a beautiful girl, makes me very nervous. This is farewell. She suddenly said. Then she then brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss. Everything becomes white at that moment. Everything loses its color. Everything is gone. Everything. Everything. 318. I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea how I made it here, but this is no illusion. I am bewildered as if I had been sleepwalking. Axel, Axel! Suddenly I hear someone calling my name, but it's not any strange voice. It's the voices of my friends who are looking for me. Hey. Hey, over here. I shout without a second of hesitation with a bit of clumsiness before my 
because of my confusion. Soon they found me and impatiently run toward me, towards me. Where were you? The worry was killing us. Stephen said with a face that I don't remember having ever seen before. Before answering, I rubbed my forehead. Within the forest, I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something, but before that, that I interrupted him. I interrupt him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we are all safe. Yes, you're uh, you're right. Hey, don't you feel that we were forgetting something? Alfred murmured at the same time. He lowers his sight. Pensive. Suddenly a blurry image appears in my mind. It was white and bright, but I can't remember more. However, that weak memory awaken, awakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in me. It was as if I had lost something, but what could it be? Anyway, we should go home. This has gone too far for a test of courage. I said with no intention of spending one more minute in this forest. They both argue with me. They both agree with me. With nothing else to say, we can only return home. By the way, guys, we should write on that page to not go to the forest. Forget about the witches. S somebody might get lost there, as it happened to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with that beast lurking around. Before knowing it, my lips move. Why did I say that? I have no idea, but something inside inspired me to do so. To be honest, I have no memory of the beast I speak of. All I can remember is that it has red eyes and white fur, but nothing more. Then I remember something. I think it was a promise I made to wait. To whom had I made that promise? I think about it for a moment in silence, but in the end, I can't remember a thing. No matter all, no matter. All I know is that I got out and I'll never come back here again. Cool, I fulfilled the promise. Cool. I mean, there's more, there's another route and stuff, so. I mean, there's like leaving the cat, there's killing the cat, and there's continuing without the cat. Something like that. I don't know. But uh, for now, I think that's going to be it for this one. So don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe. So we're going to 40 subscribers. And uh, we'll try and find more routes on this game. Who knows? But uh, if you don't, potions here while I'm not giving you the candy. Meow, 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 meow.